Hey guys, what's up? Josiah here with EasyCaters.com. Uh, today, just doing our afternoon review here of relative volume signals. And I also have several opening range breakout signals I wanted to go over uh, that kind of play into both the opening range strategy, uh, breakout strategy, and the uh, relative volume kind of signals. So uh, first of all, just a quick review of some uh, of these symbols. So Nike, I had mentioned in the uh, morning review that yesterday had this, we had this volume signal uh, as a type of potential pullback entry here. And that one triggered today and uh, looks like it's working, uh, working pretty well already more than one times your risk here on that trade. Nike also had a nice, uh, some nice intraday uh, signals. So you can see here on the um, opening range, we had like a we had a 30 minute uh, signal here, and inside that we also had a 10 minute and a five minute, and the five minute and the 10 minute, uh, if you'd just taken those as bar breaks, those work really well. The 30 minute, of course, worked fine as well uh, as an opening range breakout trade. So uh, a lot of times, you know, I, and I have an opening range breakout indicator on the site and uh, I the very best opening range trades that I have seen are these um, opening range breakouts that come from a volume signal where there's this pent up volume energy in a way uh, where we've got this indecision candle high churn and then we break out of that range those can really trend for the rest of the day and you can see here this is a good example of that on Nike um, this five minute is beautiful, uh, 10 minute is uh, pretty ideal as well. And then we have a nice little kind of continuation inside bar pattern there that worked and several little pullback trades that could have worked in the afternoon. Um, let's see here, PayPal, uh, another, we had an hourly indecision candle uh, on high churn. Inside that, we had a 30-minute smaller 30-minute uh, uh, churn candle uh, that would have given a much better risk-to-reward ratio uh, as a breakout. And so that one easily got to 2 R's plus. And uh, we also had this nice 1, 2, 3 continuation pattern inside that breakout uh, that you could have taken on several different time frames. Uh, but this 30-minute had a nice little risk to reward ratio of an additional two R's there, two times your risk. You can see it on the 10 minute was a nice little pullback. Um, it looks like we had a three bar pullback on the five, triggered, then had a tiny inside pullback before it worked. So that's how PayPal worked out today. Uh, and that one also on the daily, I think I had mentioned that this morning, on the uh, morning review, it had two volume churn bars in the past two days here, and then today we triggered that. We've retraced most of that move from this morning, and so we're going to have to wait and see if this is going to work out uh, for bigger profits here. But it looks like it uh, triggered pretty well today, and we might just have to be a little bit patient on that one. We'll see. DWDP uh, had a volume signal yesterday. I mentioned that this morning. Uh, broke out of that. Now, uh, this one didn't close nearly as well as the other two, um, but we did have some volume come in here at the lows, kind of indicating there's some support there. So that gives you a little bit of reason to hold on and see if we can get some uh, uh, better moves there. Uh, several intraday signals there for range kind of traders if you were um, looking to uh, you know, just snatch some up at the lows and sell them up as we uh, broke back up toward the highs of the range. LB had a nice uh, opening range breakout. Again, on the uh, hourly, we had this indecision candle on high churn, broke beautifully to the upside. If you see here, we had uh, the 30-minute was uh, super high churn volume. And then inside that, um, we, uh, we actually broke that one above. And uh, uh, so that one uh, just worked uh, within uh, the first two hours there, gave you uh, Probably it looks like looks like that would have been at least two R's, maybe four R's, depending on how you set your stop. So that one worked really well. 
on the 20 minute, it had this indecision on lower churn and then the churn showed up on the next candle. Uh, and that one would have worked as well. 15, we had this 15 with an inside 15 on high churn. All of these signals worked really well. Um, 10 minute, it just kind of came to a head here, put in the highest churn on the very last bar and then broke uh, broke up. And that's what I like to see. I kind of like to see the churn on the first candle, then uh, wane off a little bit, and then uh, uh, some uh, higher churn come in a couple bars later. Uh, indicating that it's ready to move. And so that one was pretty good. It's uh, not exactly what I like to see, but uh, pretty close to what I like to see. CMCSA. Let's see here. This one had volume churn on the yesterday's candle and today's candle. This I think I had mentioned this this morning. So we're just kind of churning here at the bottom of this pullback. And uh, so we hopefully we'll break to the upside and get a... Uh, nice swing trade out of that. It was basically just sideways all day today. MU, uh, this one had a nice opening range breakout on the hourly, 30 minute, 20 minute, 15. Uh, it was a, a really ideal opening range trade. Um, probably the best one was the 30 here on a break above this red candle uh, with a stop under the entry candle. And it looks like we also had some smaller time frame entries, maybe on the 10 here with a one, two, three type of setup. Then we had several pullbacks in the afternoon. Um, and those were probably ideal on the 15 and the 10. And those worked pretty well back up into the high of the range. Today was kind of a rangy day, of course, in the market. So uh, not quite as easy to trend trade as yesterday. Disney, though, was an exception to that. Um, it uh, behaved really nicely all day. So we had a uh, 15 minute opening range churn on this one that uh, worked beautifully immediately and within the first 30 minutes went straight to target. And then uh, you can see it on the 10 as well. Um, and had, on the five, it had a uh, five minute indecision inside five, both of those triggered at the same time and went straight to target. Then we had this nice pullback uh, marked on high volume churn here with the relative volume indicator on both the 10 and the five. That one worked beautifully all day long. And then uh, basically every five minute pullback, it was just, uh, you know, the churn marked the top of the of the, the uh, thrust, and then we pulled back, churn marked the low of the pullback. Uh, again, we break upward, put it in a new high. Uh, volume stops the high, we pull back, volume stops the low, and it's just the same kind of ping pong look all day long, just bouncing back and forth, back and forth, uh, beautiful uptrend all day long. And so there were many, many opportunities to get long on Disney today. AMD, nice opening range breakout uh, on high volume churn here at the hourly, not so obvious, but the uh, 30 minute was beautiful, it worked immediately. 20 minute, 15 minute, all work. The 10 minute had an inside um, sell off here before it triggered and then it worked beautiful. Um, and I don't see anything. So on the five minute, we had a um, indecision candle sold off, put in a little bit of churn here at the low of that sell off and then took off. And I actually was trying to get an order ready right here as this triggered and uh, I wasn't quite fast enough to catch that. Uh, so that was a little unfortunate for me, a little frustrating this morning. Um, then NTNX, it was kind of a choppy, sloppy chart all day, but uh, it did have an early morning opening range set up where uh, we had a 15 kind of like large wide range indecision candle, then an inside uh, 15, both on high churn. On the uh, 10 minute, you can see it here as well three high churn bars right in a row all inside each other and then it breaks to the upside and that one would have been two R's there. MGM uh, had another opening range breakout on high churn. Uh, like I said, the opening range breakouts, I really like combining those with high volume churn, which uh, can indicate that there's some you know, gas in the car to uh, to take us to target after the breakout happens. So 
Um, but this one, you can see there's several different entries here on the hourly 30, inside 30, uh, inside 20. We have an inside 15 here, giving a second volume churn signal inside the first one. Uh, same thing on the 10 here. This one was pretty ideal and pretty clean. And the five, you can see it as well. Looks like there was a nice uh, pullback here. It gave a little bit of a volume signal, not perfectly clean, but that one would work too. Monster. Uh, this one I talked about a couple of days ago in a video uh, about the swing trade set up here at the high of this range, where uh, on the longer term charts, we were um, selling off to the low of this range here that's been tested several times. You can see some beautiful volume signals on the weekly chart here that have all worked perfectly. And uh, so we, we were in the middle of this range here that had a volume signal on the weekly and it had been just kind of bouncing back and forth between volume signals here on the daily. And like I said, there was, you know, some likelihood that we were going to come back down and revisit the low of this range. Or, as I had suggested, if we broke above this churn candle, uh, that could squeeze out all the shorts and add some fuel to the fire to uh, take us back up to this, um, this area up in here. So that's what we've been doing the last two days. That's, that trade's been working really well. Uh, LBS, let me switch back over to my intraday chart. Um, we had some churn on the opening range as well. This one is not as clean, but it, you can see how there's this, uh, we're kind of coming to a head here and we put in a, uh, you know, so we had an initial wide range indecision candle and then several, a series of several inside candles that kind of come to a head on high churn here at the very end kind of a triangle type of setup and then we break out of that and move to the high and so the, the high is marked by volume the low again is marked by volume and uh, so those worked really well uh, alcoa uh, i just wanted to mention this one because i saw um, a you know, this is not the type of thing that i trade here this is just a reversal setup but uh, I noticed how the indicator grabbed the exact bottom there on uh, high volume churn on the 15 minute chart as well as the five and the 10. So that was an interesting trade there um, for any of you reversal traders. But anyway, that's what I got for today. Um, so it was kind of a sideways day in the market, a lot of chop and churn out there. And you can see um, both on the SPY and the Qs, uh, we both, uh, both of those had a inside churn candle on the daily. And so this can mean uh, we're either pausing before a kind of a one, two, three continuation setup, and we might be breaking up to the 294 area in the next day or two, uh, or, uh, and this is on the SPY uh, and, and possibly beyond, or th if this is actually uh, strong resistance up here, this can be a reversal. So it, it all depends on whether or not we can get above today's high uh, in the next day or two here. Uh, the Qs had a very similar setup. Of course, we've already, we've hit an all time high here on the Qs and, um, but today we had a, uh, a churn bar high volume and it was just kind of sideways all day. So uh, just a, an inside candle on high churn. So this, these can sometimes work as one, two, threes, but we are pretty extended here on the daily chart. So um, I don't know that that's a trade that I would be willing to take, but um, it is uh, potentially going to turn into a one, two, three up to possibly uh, 192, 193-ish um, as a first target there. So keep an eye on that. That can either be good or bad. Like I say, I mean, we're kind of extended here. We're hitting resistance, churn. So this can be a reversal signal, but if we do get above the high, then that says that there's a lot of demand in the market and uh, that can possibly take us up to that 193 area on the queues. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. I will talk to you in the morning. Thanks.